on the start line. Check the swing arm out, Jack. Sebastian Chambert. Check that swing arm out. It didn't do any good in the first race. I bet the TIG welder's still hot in Motor France garage. Welding bits on there. Number 71, Yukio Kageyama won the second half of race one, second overall, looking for a race win in race two. Pole position, Regis Laconi alongside him. Problem. The race winner. There's a problem, yeah, yellow flags on row three. And it looks to me, yellow bike, it looks like Stalker. Stalker. Uh, or has Stalker I think maybe stalled in, it. Has, has Stalker pulled up in the wrong position, or has he just been backed off? I think he might have gone into the wrong place. Stalker's gone into yep, the wrong place. Yeah, that's what's happened there, yeah. Yep, and yep, uh, yep. Killy moved, came in and said, uh, excuse me, son, that's yep. my parking spot. It's all right. That's so that's, all all, that's a relief. Stalker then, custard yellow, steps back onto Kawasaki. Should never be anything other than green. Tell PSG one. Here we go. Red light, race two. And what's like, happening? It looks like Kagiyama to me again. Who's got it? Kagiyama, no. no. It isn't. It isn't. Kagiyama it's gets swallowed up. Corsa, it's not. It's a no, blue it bike. I think it might be Pitty again. It I think is. Pitt's come through from the it second row. So with 18 laps to go, Andrew Pitt forces oh, over. Somebody Someone's straight on, straight on. Bike. That could have been your man, number... It could have been number 22, Ivan Silva. Could have been. Straight on. I couldn't see him in the pack there either. Oh, look at them cutting one, one another up through there. And Ivan Silva, well, that left room wiped the grin off his face. There right? is, I think, one yeah. of his teeth, I think... There's it one is, on the back, but it is I, Ivan Silva. I I'm reckon sure. it'll be Miguel Pryor who was starting from the back. Yep. Meanwhile, at the front, Andrew Pitt, that familiar riding style of the quiet Aussie, who's in the former World Super Sports champion. Oh, oh. it got those us down! Oh, no! What an awful intro to World Superbikes for Jose Luis Cardozo oh, doesn't have. make the start of the first race and he's crashed in the second one and he looks like he's hurt. Oh, I can't believe it. How can somebody's look change so dramatically? Yeah, he's moving. Oh, dear me. Meanwhile, at the front, so Cardozo once again is not involved in this race. Killy at this moment is... Oh. Oof, and Tosland sticks it all, and that's Jambert taking uh, the route to the shops, really. He was off to Tesco <laughs> then, wasn't he? Or the it French was. equivalent. Yeah, and... Uh, Pit Hager Kageyama. And that's Tosland trying to get back from, again, not such a scintillating start, even from where he was languishing on the grid. He's still only tenth now. And he's through behind, but he's just behind Vermoulin. So uh, just proving once again the strength and depth out in this pack as uh, Andrew Pitt leads the way, his teammate, Yamaha, Italia, 1-2, Hager is second, third now is Corsa, he's got the better of Yukio Kageyama, Laconi fifth, and sixth getting a, a really good start this time, number 76, the 20-year-old from Saxon, from Saxony, and to uh, me, Neukirchner. It it's not going to take uh, Abe long to get going, this, it did in the first race, this time I think he's going to get going a lot quicker. And he's come, he's shot through from yep. that uh, fourth row of the grid. And there he goes, I think past Neukirchner there. I'm sure you'll find that uh, he makes that one stick. Uh, but you know he, he doesn't have the speed. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing wrong with that clappy on there. Is, yeah, but imagine Nabe's back trying to drag that 300 weight swing arm around with it. And race has been stopped, I think. And why, why, I don't why know. did Troy Corsa put his hand I have there? no idea, I can only assume that. That's what I saw and I thought he must have seen a red flag. Corsa put his hand up, he did, sat he up. Did, I, Hager went back through to second place, and then Corsa suddenly looks like he's I, on it again. He does, I don't know what. I thought there was a red flag out, and obviously uh, Corsa had been just the first man to see it. Meanwhile, Andrew Pitt, 2001 World Super, Spike, World Super Sports Champion, has uh, got a grip of this at the front. Look at Muggers, 24th place for Muggeridge, and uh, Silver is back on track in 27th. And uh, he's behind Al Nuami, who I thought hadn't qualified. That's the local man who was uh, officially dead last on the grid, but we thought that he'd been too slow to be actually taking his place. And Tosen really not missing any inroads. Second again for number 11, Troy Corsa. As, as quick as that, he moves back past Norrie Hager. What? I, I, I don't understand that, Jack. What happened to Corsa there? So again, we've got an Alstara Corona. Uh, we've got an Alstara Corona. Two four. Say, the two four. The Yamaha the one moment. three. Yamaha 1-3, wow, in the mix. And right behind them is the Xerox Ducati. And then uh, Nerkoisner putting in a terrific performance behind them as well. That 21-year-old who's um, hauled straight out of his debut season in World Supersports by former sidecar world champion Klaus Klaffenbach, who obviously he wanted a young, his sponsors, I would imagine, demanded a good young German yep, in there. Yeah, he's got one. He's got one, hasn't he? Yep. A Saxon, no less. 
current leader, Andrew Pitt of Australia. Riding bike number 88, the 29-year-old, originally out of Kempsey. And he's really looking confident. Look at that beautiful afternoon sunshine bathing them as they come down the straight. Corsa's reeling him in, though. Corsa has really got away from the others. Here comes uh, Laconi. He's dipped underneath. That was Chris Walker. Ooh, what happened here? Oh! Ouch! That's... And that's how... That that's how Sil uh, if Ivan Silva came to be off the track because he collided. That's what with. it is. And he also, to... also Gimbert, I think, as well. What Gimbert. did Cordozo catch the back wheel of, of Ivan Silva? He, then I think he was going straight on, and he did catch the back wheel. Yeah, certainly caught somebody's that, back that wheel. That didn't look like a fast high side, but it looked like an awkward landing. Yeah, but like Jeremy said earlier on in the studio, at the top of the show, he said that sometimes that the slow ones you go higher and land harder, and that's true. That is true. The fast ones tend to send you further along, but not as high. How quickly has Corsa cut back to I know. And how easy does it look for him? What we need is pitch. You're stalling Corsa up a bit now so that Kagiyama can get right back on the terms and go with Corsa. Yeah, stay there, Andrew, stay there. And, uh, Andrew Pitt, of course, now, uh, now rebuilding a house for himself in Tuscany with uh, his English lady friend, Olivia. Doing a lot of the work himself as well. He probably got it completed over the winter, I forgot to ask him. Andrew Pitt in the lead, second Troy Corsa. Arbe still there in seventh place with Walker and Tolzman. I thought Tolzman would have got past Walker by now, but he hasn't. He hasn't. Oh, look at that Corsa. Yeah. Just like he used to do with the uh, Aprilia male, just steps inside. He's beating. Kagama, he's right there with him. So I'll start at Corona Suzuki at the moment, 1-3. We just need Kagama getting past Pitt before Corsa does one of his... Uh, Disappearing acts, yeah. Norihaga has dropped back into fifth place and the gap's opened up in front of him. So the front four. Oh, look at the way. Confidence is oh, <laughs> he just drifted yes. inside him. James Tolsland now has managed to make some sort of a move through. He's behind this pack here. And there's Nurkushna no no goes for the outside. Nurkushna no goes round and, well, inside Haga. Haga drops two. Yeah, he does. Walker's dropped back behind Killy. This is Vermoulin trying to come through in pursuit of James Tolson. That's Isabel on the right. Ronald Tenkate keeping an eye on things in the uh, Tenkate camp. But uh, Isabel's fiance, Carl Mugridge, well down for well this down. encounter. In about 19th at the minute. Well, Tolson's yes, certainly Kag looking good on the bike. He and just Kagiyama's now up. Kagiyama's got under pit and he's now going or attempting to go with Corsa. Let's see if Jeremy was lap. right. Two minutes, 2.6, uh, 2.69. Corsa, two minutes, 2.565 on his last lap. Yeah, but they're not, they're not going on their own. They've both been uh, passing Pitt. Pitt has a quick, sly look over his right shoulder and he'll, he'll have seen the stark, staring eyes of Regis Laconi right there in his wing mirror. Pitt, Pitt just looks, I mean, sliding the bike there, but he, look, he does look at home on this bike real early in the season. Yeah, they did, but he did put a huge number of laps he in did. at Phillip Island, didn't yes, he? Yes, he did. Familiar. They have done as much testing as they can. I think the problem's been they haven't had enough time to develop the bike back in the workshops, and also the kit parts haven't come from Japan uh, with enough time to go testing after that before the first race. Corsa leads then by 0.48 of a second. It's not 0.48 of a second now, I can tell you. And Regis Laconi has once again got the steam hammer down, and he really is working that Ducati hard. Seventh Arve, Tolsland now in eighth place, two tenths of a second behind Norik. Killy has gone back to tenth. Uh, is it a, if you've missed the first race, is it a is it a major drawback? Do you uh, when you've lost track time like that, is that valuable stuff to have lost? Yeah, I guess so. And it's first, so early in the season at a new circuit where the guys are still all learning. Uh, and also, yeah, uh, even if it's just early in the race before you settle down into a rhythm, I would have thought it'd have had a big effect, yeah. Corsa leads then, second place for Kagayama, third place still for Pitt. Here comes Regis Laconi trying to take a look up the inside. Here's Norik Abe. Abe, ooh, and look, oh, he goes wide, oh. leads his breaking a bit late. Noy Kirshner just charges back underneath him. Tickets, please. I know it's an old <laughs> one, but... <laughs> but I hadn't heard it. <laughs> Tickets, please. And uh, Norik Abe's got it all to do again. Schoolboy error, that one, Jack. 
the Koisner, uh, uh, Noy Kirshner, I wish I could get his name right, Noy Kirshner is uh, still there in fifth place for Claffy Honda. And that's a terrific showing after a disappointing, but you said you were disappointed in his first race showing and he's, uh, yeah, he's I, proving that he should have gone better. I only said that because uh, it's a new bike for him and he's out at a new track on, and in a class he's never been in. And they, nobody expected him to be going as good in practice as what he was. So, that, you know, I expected him to have a bit of a go in the first race, but for some reason he didn't. Laconi then just, just going, yep, he's gone under pit, now he's into third. Nicole is into third place, so uh, the, the charge is on, even more so, he's now got to try and cut back on the Suzuki's. And they haven't got that far ahead, actually, they're still right there in front of him. Not a big gap. Uh, Neukirchen, incidentally, from uh, Stolberg in, uh, Saxony, in Saxony. He actually kicked off in the International German 250cc Championship, uh, getting a fourth place at Bruno, which you'll know well when World Superbikes arrives for the first time at the end of July. First time we've used that track. And uh, the, uh, he stayed in the 250 German Championship 2001, finishing fifth. And then in the uh, German 250 Championship 2002, he was second. And there is the passing move of Regis Laconi, clean and neat. And Laconi looks to be the man at the moment, who's, who can just about match the pace of these Suzuki's. I think the only man out there who can match the pace of the Suzuki's. Troy Corsa, as he surges across the line, trying to, uh, to uh, bust the toe of his teammate Yukio Kagayama. Two minutes, 2.357. Kagayama, not such a good lap, two minutes, 2.8. Lacone, two minutes, 2.57 and pit on a two minutes 3.4 in fact the rest of the guys in two minute threes except for sebastian jambert who got held up by that mess in the first turn he was on a two minutes 2.9 he's in 12th place but uh, he's got walker in his sights and torsen's through a seventh now chris walker number nine on the psg1 i almost said ducati kawasaki and right there behind him one of the fastest men on track the reigning world endurance champion Sebastian Jambert. Oh, look at this! And this is Hager really struggling going backwards. Vermeulen's got past him, and it's only a matter of time before Killy does the same. Killy looking for a way past on the second of the Claffy Hondas. There he goes, tucking up the inside, number seven, the 40 year old perpetual exuberant youth, Pier Francesco Killy, moves through past Noriyuki Hager and uh, keeps tabs on that man, the, the ex world super sports champion, Chris Vermeulen. Incidentally, Muggeridge up to 18th place from that disastrous start behind Giovanni Busai and Fonzi Nieto. A man who's uh, number three, Norik Abe, who's finished as high as fifth in Motorcycle Grand Prix. He's taken him about four laps to just to, just to undo <laughs> when he ran wide at... Uh... Yes. Trying to get on yeah, the, a mistake uh, like Neukirchen. that, is, it's amazing how it can cost you, isn't it, it is, in terms it of uh, an overall race strategy. The uh, indomitable Regis Laconi still glued to the task of hunting down the Alstara Corona Suzuki's. Another lap complete. As they cross the line, it'll be 12 laps remaining then. A long 12 laps it'll be for that Xerox Ducati garage. The first three go through, fourth pit, fifth Neukirchner, sixth Norik Abe. Neukirchner, uh, he entered the European Championship Series in 2003, finished third overall, and that's when he was snapped up at the age of 20 by uh, Klaus Klaffenbock and put into World Super Sports last year. And he's having a good run, he's actually, uh, he's hunting pit down. I think he's getting the best. I, I think, think he, he might have I been quicker he on that do. lap. He was definitely quicker yeah, that he lap. he did a 2 minutes 2.8 against Pitt on a 2.3.5. Pitt had slipped right deep into the uh, the three-second bracket there. Look at Kageyama having a look up the inside there at Troy Corsa and uh, Kageyama as fast as anybody on track at the moment without yeah. any doubt. And Kageyama, Corsa, Kageyama and Laconi had the fastest lap of the race, uh, their fastest laps of the race on that last lap, now they've got into a bit of space. James Torsman, you can't... Uh, uh, oh, and uh, that's Ivan Silver, I think. Oh, yep. prior, it's Silver who's out. Yep. Smoke coming from those pipes after that unfortunate first turn incident, which... Uh, Oof, and that has oh gone dear. top. 
that's coming out the exhaust so so it's burning oil not actually losing oil so the smoke's coming from oil coming out the engine which is a lot better than it pouring out the side of the engine if there was a break in the casing because normally then it goes on the track so hopefully it hasn't affected the actual racing line incidentally can i just tell you that uh Neukirchner, uh, Neukirchner <laughs> finished ninth overall in world super sports last year and uh, just a point behind stefan chambon the former champion and there's his teammate incidentally frankie Kelly. so wonderful to see Kelly back on song he was desperate to get onto a Honda, but he only went to Team Klaffenbach after lengthy negotiations because he wanted to take more or less his whole team with him from PSG1. Yep. I don't know where that leaves Chris Walker and who he's working with, mind. That's presumably the, uh, the stragglers and remnants of PSG1, or a new team altogether. There's number one, Tolton, seven Killy, 77 Vermeulen, 32 uh, Jambert still going forward past number 41, Noriyuki Haga. Jambé threw into 10th place, and considering it was more or less that beautiful expression of yours, clap last after that first turn incident. That's been a great recovery by the 26-year-old Frenchman. Yep. Walker back in 16th. What happened with that then? So I Chris has really lost the pace this time because he was... Uh, he stayed well in the points in the previous two races. Just behind him is Carl Muggeridge. Just ahead of him is now the Patronus FP1 of Steve Martin, getting himself once again just into the tail end of the points. Martin, a hard worker. He's getting everything he can out of that FP1. Actually, yeah, you've got a feel for him. I mean, that, that is such a competitive uh, championship now. Yep, they've got sort of 20 bikes quicker than their bike, not about six or seven like there was last year. Regis Laconi, former winner in MotoGP with Red Bull Yamaha, hanging it all out there on the Xerox Ducati. And look at this lot now, his freight train. Andrew Pitt, Max Neukirchner, and right behind him, number three, Norik Abe. Two Yams and a Honda. And actually, Neukirchen is the top Honda. I bet you wouldn't have thought that before the weekend. You certainly wouldn't, would you? You would not have necessarily put his name down. Although, having said that, you know, during qualifying, he always was pretty well up there. Yes, he was. So we've split into two groups of three here, with Corsa still holding an advantage over teammate Kageyama. Sorry, Kageyama still holding an advantage over teammate Corsa. No. When What's happened happen? there? There's been a mistake. There's something we ain't seen there, Jack. Kageyama is in the lead. You have a look at no, Corsa's last lap, 2047. He's a second slower. Neukirchner has just lost out to Norik Abe, but Corsa's lost out big style to, everybody. to Kageyama. Yeah, Corsa's, Corsa's 2047, then everybody else down to even the 10th place man, Jim Bear's done a 2036. In fact, he was about the quickest man out there. Torsland done a 2033. I think he was the quickest man out there that lap. Yeah, because leader Kageyama was on a 203.9, but it still yep. gave him an eight tenth advantage over. I don't know what uh, Troy Corsa. So Francis Spatter has a right to look concerned. What's he up does. with Corsa? No idea. <laughs> oh, is <laughs> Abe looking at Pitt. Abe is having a bit of Neukirchner. I tell you what, as the race goes on, Abe don't have to relax. It just seems to take him a little while to settle in, but then he's just got that floppy, loose, pushing the front, relaxed sort of style about him. See how fast he can push the front into corners. Well, remember when he first hit Motorcycle Grand Prix, he was really touted what as a future ever. world champion. I remember his first meeting at uh, Su Suzuka. He, he crashed as a wild Did he card. ever crash on turn one? Yeah, but was he going? Well, I think he was lying third at the time. So the man from Tokyo is uh, certainly proving his uh, pedigree here in his first race at World Superbikes and Corsa. Well, you said he had a tyre problem second half of the race the second uh, part of the aggregate of race one, and he certainly doesn't look comfortable just now. Also, Norkirch has made a, made a mistake because, uh, no, he hasn't. It's Killy behind, uh, Tolzlan down in front of Killy. And Abe... Oh, it's, uh, I beg your pardon, Tolzlan now in front of Killy. Yep. And Abe's back behind Neukirchner again, so yeah. I think Abe must have made another step And I'll tell you what, Corsa looks like he's, he's not finding this easy whatsoever, he, not at all, even when, if he did make a mistake, you know, we'll see what his lap was this time. Yep, again he's, a, again he's a second slower than Kageyama's into the twos now. 
So that there's, there's something weird going on at the front. So Kagayama, 2 minutes, 2.7. Corsa, 2 minutes, 3.6. Laconi, 2 minutes, 3.5. And I think Laconi might be getting held up by Troy. Pit, 2 minutes, 3.8. And fastest laps of the race for Tosland, two minutes, three, two. Killy, two minutes, 2.7. Yep. And Vermeulen, two minutes, three, zero. So Killy, two minutes, two, seven, was uh, the fastest man on track on that lap. And this is uh, Regis Lacone trying to find a way round Troy Corsa. Round, underneath, over. Tell you what, Jean Bear is still, uh, still in the twos, 2027 that last lap, but he has actually got oh, the fastest so lap of the race. Right. He's got a 2018 early on in the race. Fantastic. <laughs> well, we knew he was good. <laughs> and this Not is the back past. <laughs> Gone back past Arby. <laughs> proving everything I said wrong. And, right, sir. and um, all the time, you know, despite the fact that he's had a few lurid moments, uh, Andrew Pitt is still, still going. On to that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like he's. Oh, the that's two there. That, that's oh, uh, Stalker. Is that Stalker and Walker. Muggeridge? It oh, is. Oh, Stalker doesn't look happy about that. I thought he was going to hit Carl for a moment then. So, what has gone wrong there? So, they've piled up the Kawasaki, the PSG1 Kawasaki, and the 10 Carter Honda have gone down together. Yep. And that was uh, Muggers desperately trying to make up ground to get into the points. Looks like Muggers is trying to get back on it to he me. Wants to reach. He wants to restart. Uh, he hasn't got a starter. He might not have a starter motor on it, which case you finish, you're not going to push them. Look if he's ready to kick start. He's, he's got, he's it, got going. it going. Yep. Yeah. We're looking. Uh, we're looking. Oh, here comes, here comes oh. Muggers. Oh! oh. oh. I, oh. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you something. What? That was 100% Muggers' fault. Completely, completely out of control up the inside and took Walker with him. But completely it in control up the inside. He's the the corner. Yep. Snop sneaks through into second place ahead. But look where Kagiyama is. Well, Kagiyama's got away from him now. Now, can we see a bustling, hustling performance in the second half of this race for Regis Lacone? We'd always expect it of him. And he's going for it. But Kagiyama's lapping gets out of the way. Kagiyama's lapping consistently a second quicker than the other two guys. Um, they, it looked as if, you know, you said it was 100% Muggeridge's fault. They kind of, for a moment, there looked to be a gap there. Walker looked to be stuck. Oh, up he the came turn. so oh. fast under him, did Muggeridge, and then he lost the front going under him because he wasn't going to stop anyway. I mean, he couldn't right, stop, that? which is why he lost the front. So that, that was uh, uh, presumably why Stalker was looking less than thrilled with it when they no, stood I mean, up. There's no question that crash was 100% Muggers' fault. I mean, it does happen, people, you know, I've done it myself. I think there's nobody racing who hasn't made a mistake. Oh, I remember your torpedo in Pera Reba Slaven. That, that wasn't me. Big time. It met with my bike. I, I crashed it. It was 200 yards it. later, it hit him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's never forgotten the incident. Neither have I. <laughs> Elephants never forget. Tosland 7th, Killy 8th, Vermeulen 9th, 10th, Jambert 11, Haga 12, Lorenzo Lanzi quietly going down about his business on the... Uh, um, I've forgotten what Lanzi's riding, for goodness sake, it's so long since I've seen him. He's on the Ducati. Uh, Borciani, Busai, Steve Martin, Fonzo Nieto is just 7 tenths of a second behind Steve Martin in uh, 16th place, just that far out of the points. And the second foggy Patronus of Gary McCoy is 19th. And I'll tell you what, I think Mr McWilliams is going to have another 20 quid out of Tony. I do. <laughs> I hope Tony's got enough money in his back pocket. Look at Tosland. Tosland is beginning to make a move now. Look at Killy. I said Killy was the joint fastest man on track. He's gone past Norik Arbe. And uh, the old man, the old war horse on the Clappy Honda's making a move. He's actually got past Tosland, back past Tosland, and then past Arbe. He went backwards, now he's going forwards again. Look at that pack. That's a proper race, that. And Kvimulan's in there. Tosland, the reigning superbike champion, and there's seven laps to go. And these positions are up for these points are desperately wanted by everybody out there. <laughs> and uh, they, they're right up onto the back wheel of Andrew Pitt. This is the battle for fourth place. It now. is, yeah, it is. <laughs> look at look Tosland. at that freight. Look at that freight train. After oh, 11 laps, who's going to grab this one then? Oh, Jim Bear is wow. technically the quickest man out there. I think he's got the fastest lap of the race so far at a 2:01. I think he's the only person to do 201s. He is. No, 201. Laconi's done one as well early on in the race. Oh, Tosland trying to sneak underneath Vermeulen then. He's lost a place, of course, to uh, the Australian. Killy 
certainly wants to try and find a way past his teammate. He's got Norik Arbe snapping at his own heels, so he doesn't want to be hanging around there Look for any length of time. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Carl Fogarty reckons that Killy's passed it and can't pass people under braking that's anymore, so what we want to see is where he is passing them. Yeah, that's what he says. Oh, there's Torsland. Torsland. That's up the inside of Vermeulen, I think, there. It yep. is. And minute stick. Oh, look at Vermeulen. Right though, back at you. Drifts <laughs> underneath it and wafts back. Yep. No respect there for the world champion. So real cat and dog stuff going on here. And Jambert, both the Yamaha Motor France R ones are involved in this scrap. Tenkate Honda, Xerox Ducati, two clappy Hondas. So Yamahas, there's three Hondas, two Yamahas. And oh, uh, oh and uh, Tafal Al Nuami, the local. Um, Katari, Katari, Kill has gone underneath. Diving on his teammate. Neukirchner there. Yep. How good this for a race? Look How at it. That's why they call it a freight train, Jack. Perfect example. So they're all behind each other, slipstream, and it's just one long snaking train. And Killy, he got back Neuker. Oh, here comes at Norik Arbe, trying to do two at once. Late on the brakes, Killy gets there. Now, can Killy do anything about Andrew Pitt? Oh, <laughs> the snaking number 77, Chris Vermeulen. Testing that new WP rear shock to the limit. There's Kagayama, our leader. Second place, yeah, number 55, Laconi. I think Kagayama's got this. He's got, he's pulling out half a centre lap. Easy. Regis Laconi second. Troy Corsa, for some reason, a slightly troubled third. And the gap back to that enormous scrap behind the veteran Aussie isn't that big. It's not. There is. Oh, Killy's there already. The moment we take the eyes off the old boy, he nips through. And it's wide though. It's oh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't need that when you nearly draw your pension, do you? <laughs> oh, that was that was. Oh, that's no, no, that's no, that's no, no sorry. Killy's gone, mate. Yeah, Killy's he has. Gone. That was Bermuda thinking if Killy can do it, I want to yes, be yes. too. I need to be through there. I got confused. Discombobulated is what I got there, Jack. What a great word. I'm glad you used that. <laughs> I didn't you were a Guardian reader. <laughs> Oh, here's Vermeulen. Oh, and we can't take our eyes off that. Look at the way he sliced under there. That was pure. Killy's gone. Bacon slicing. And Killy's Killy. pulling about a quarter of a second to the front now. Well, Killy on his. Oh, oh who's that? Who's that? Sterile Garda. Sterile Garda. It's Mar Marco Barciani. Yeah, it is. On the Sterile Garda yeah. Yamaha. He's out. Oh, oh, he got hooked up with somebody there. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah, and that will have uh, that will have helped lift Steve Martin back into the points because he's lost. And that was Fonzo Nieto. Nieto, Nieto, Nieto that went under was, him. Uh, yeah, it was. Went under him, and Borciani didn't look too chuffed, judging by the expression on his face as it flicked him off. You're not supposed to hit a man with glasses, are you? <laughs> <laughs> that was why I was such a pitiful um, pupil at school, mate. <laughs> Here comes Chris Vermeulen, yep. he's lining up Andrew Pitt. And he's oh, driven straight past him. past him. I tell you, Vermeulen's been inspired by Killy, and he's thinking, if that old fella can do this, <laughs> can make this on the goal like this, then I've got to take off after, because he's had no time on the bike. They're running a bike that, you know, they've not got many bits for, and uh, we've already got a season's development under our belt, so he's going after him. There's Corsa. This is the battle going on for fourth place, and Corsa had better keep moving, because I reckon these guys are moving quicker. Yeah, and obviously Corsa has some kind of problem. Corsa did a 2.7. They are, they're, half a, they're all half a second, well, they're laughing half a second Certainly Killy's half a second quicker than Corsa, yeah. yeah. So has Killy got the time left to do something about this? Remaining five laps. And he's got five seconds. He's not going to pull that back unless Corsa starts going slower. Oh, and that was... Uh, that was not... Uh, Neukirchner trying to get underneath Pitt there, but not quite making it stick. That's the Winston Tenkata Honda of Chris Vermeulen. He's in fifth place. And looks like he's not going to settle for that. He can't anyway, not with that look behind. <laughs> You're not settling for anything here, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Norik Arbe's come back into the frame again, and Tolsland, we're almost forgetting the world champs in there, and he's just giving it everything he can. He's stepping the back end of that Ducati out, and, uh, you know, he's putting everything he can into this 1,000 V-twin war against uh, the 1,000 CC Ford that are all around him. And there's uh, Troy Corset, beg your pardon, and Yukio That's Kageyama, Kageyama. And, and he's uh, Regis Lacone still I holding think, station behind him. I think he's catching him a little bit, I do. He was a tenth of a second quicker on that last lap, so he's he's holding the pace that Kangiyama's setting at the moment. 
Kageyama has just drifted out of the two-minute twos, the high two twos, for the first time on that lap. Um, which means that, you know, bless him, he's, he's has been setting a scolding pace. It's understandable if it begins to back off slightly. Look at this. We've got about an 18-wheeler here. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Seven, yep, and again, wheeler. three tenths of a second quicker was Laconi on that lap than Kageyama, but he's still 2.8 seconds in front. Jambe Neely, was, uh, he was taking a look underneath his uh, Yamaha France teammate then, and they've both got uh, the target of Tolson's number one right there in front of them. Meanwhile, the other Xerox Ducati, this is Laconi. He's got down into the twos again, but you know, he's great at these late charges. He just needs to get them going a bit earlier. Yeah, he does, but look at that. Ten seconds covering down a tenth place after about three quarters of the distance, and that's good. That's 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 close racing. Kageyama leads, second, 55, Laconi. Third, number 11, Corsa. Fourth, number seven, Killy. Fifth, number 77, Vermoulin. Sixth, number 88, Pitt. Seventh, number 76, Neukirchner. Eighth, number one, Tolson. Ninth, number three, Norik Abe. Tenth, number 32, Jimba. Jambe. Jambe, that's it. That's right. You're supposed to, I am is am. And that ah. sounds daft in French. So it's Jambe rather than Jimba. However, we haven't got time to talk about the French language at a time. And there he goes, Tolson. He cuts underneath. Neukirchner and go oh, the man who was bred on the oil slick dirt tracks of Australia as a youth Chris Vermoulin two wheel drifting that fire blade out of the left hander and he really is on the case now he's closed the gap on Fraggy Keeley talk about a contrast in styles Keeley's just all passion heart and 250 GP experience in his early days he doesn't drift that bike he just drives it hard but look at this now Vermoulin's right with him yeah, you've got oh, Killy, you've, you've got to say, for so little time on that team class. Yeah, he's bike. had a good race. A he's note, he's uh, had a good race. He wasn't out there for the first race at all. Fantastic. But I've got a feeling Bermoulin with that 10 target power. I've got the same feeling, Jack. Coming down the straight now. Whoa, nothing way, in that it. Claffy Honda's pretty in quick. It. But here comes Bermoulin now. He turns into perfection up the inside. Later. As he run wide, we've seen him make the odd mistake. Now he's there. Yeah, he is. Uh, Chris was cool, he was cool after that mistake, all owned up to that mistake and his frustration with Kageyama yesterday he, in Super Bowl. He'd struggled not to own up to that one, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> and no, one, no matter how tightly tucked in, Kitty keeps his elbows, Vermoulin's coming past. So Vermoulin annexes fourth place from Frankie Kitty. Three laps left. Oh, Tolson's doing well. Tolson's now leading that group that these two have broken clear of. Oh, where's then Chris off that's to? A, well, <laughs> we've seen him make some mistakes. He tends to push a little bit going in, you know. Just tries to get in there a little bit hot and then has to run wide, which is what he did when he crashed in uh, the Super Bowl session. Kageyama, he's, he's just running so sweetly in the front. He's he's he obviously enjoys being a front runner. He's yeah. not feeling any pressure there. Coney has now uh, got well clear of uh, Troy Corsa. And uh, Norrie Hager, look, eight seconds behind Jambert in 11th place. 12th place, uh, Lanzi, 13, Nieto, and the rest. And Martin just in the points. Um, uh, yeah, he's been consistently the 15th place man, really, in the first race and in this race. You know, Laconi is still giving it everything in his pursuit. And look at... Uh, Vermeulen now dragging Killy with him and Tolsland. Tolsland is really beginning to click. And Tolsland has just set his fastest lap of the race to three, uh, two minutes, 3.215. Last lap, best lap. Yep, it's true. So Vermeulen has as well. Vermeulen just uh, got into the tools. Oh, it's great. It's really good to see uh, some explosive response from Tolsland. Look, he's broken clear of that uh, four-way battle behind him as the two... Uh, Yamaha France R1s come side by side down the straight and Norik Abe, I beg your pardon, it's Andrew Pitt, he clips inside Andrew Pitt again. No, I beg your pardon, that's the first time he's got the better of Andrew. So pity from holding that fourth place for so long for the first two thirds of race distance has uh, found himself relegated now to about eighth place. Laconia second, Corsa third. They're not so far behind they're Corsa, not mind far. you, only two laps to go. There's only two laps one to go. One lap at the end of this one. So they're, they're really cutting back that 
gap as fast as they can, but it ain't going to be quick enough, I don't think. I don't think uh, Killy's giving up on uh, fourth either, Jack. No, 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 <laughs> Killy doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> so that was the first three in picture there. And Kagiyama. Well, all right. 30-year-old Japanese star still calmly, coolly leading the way. Well, it doesn't look like Francis Batter, wide-eyed behind the spectacles there, is going to get another Suzuki 1-2, but it's going to be as good as you can get without a Suzuki 1-2, if it's a Suzuki 1-3. Yeah. And it will mean that Yukio Kageyama will be leading the World Superbike Championship after the first yep. round. And he can feel comfortable with that all the way to Phillip Island in just over a month's time. And of course, five, five weeks we've got. All the action will happen again, at, actually, at the dead of night back home in the UK. But it might just be worth getting up for. I had either stay up late stop with coffee, up. stop up, stop up with the lagers, or get up dead early with coffee, and you can enjoy it for about three in the morning. And uh, Troy Corsa still working hard. I think he must be aware that these Hondas aren't so far away. But they're not. They're actually about three seconds behind now, and it's going down about just less than a second a lap. But there's only one lap left, so. And Tolsla, I wish this race was going on a bit longer. Can we yeah, extend it to 21 or 22, <laughs> please? Because uh, also, Tolsland is he's really coming right, good. Got, yeah, he is. He is. Oh. Why couldn't he have done that? He's lapping as quick as anybody now. I don't know. What's going on? Into the final lap we go. Kagayama, 2 3.5. Lakoni, 2 3.2. But all too late. Corsa, 2 3.3. Vermeulen, 2 2.9. I told you, Tolson, 2-2.9. Two, two and 2-2.9, two, two That's the fastest lap of the race. Has finally broken into the late, the high 2.2s for the first time in this race. Yep, fastest lap of that. Came the cry. Fastest lap of, uh, fastest rider, that lap. It, that includes everybody in front of him. Well, that's good. That means he's capable of it, then. Yeah, it does, but too late. They're going home now. <laughs> they almost are as well. <laughs> <laughs> Kagayama's already caught the bus. And Francis Batter, well, Francis, welcome back to World Superbikes. Yep. We've missed you. Kageyama leads, Lakoni. Look at um, Vermoulin making a break a bit now from Killian. And Killian's got to look after Tolson. Yes. Tolson is on him. Tolson was two tenths of a, fast, a second faster on his penultimate lap. That, that one is not over yet. What a fabulous comeback for this lad who almost lost his life at Cadwell Park in 2003. Absolutely, Just yeah. remarkable. Very, absolutely. Couldn't have put it better. Just a fantastic, fantastic strength of character, of will, yep. of, of physical and mental effort. All those things. The man was a sh just a shell of a man when I saw him with his... Oh, he, he was he, he's in a bad way. This is just so good for him. You've got to be tough to do that, I've got to say. Yukio Kageyama then. He's finally just relaxed slightly. That man hasn't. The Coney is second. And now there's that man look in fourth. Look where Vermeulen is. And He's almost at, caught Corsa. And look at Tosland and Killy. And there's uh, Norik Arbe trying to get in on the act as well. Oh, please, forget to put the chequered flag out. I wanted this to, <laughs> to go a couple of laps more. Here comes Tosland. He's right on the back wheel of Killy, but he's only got the final turn to do it. Yukio Kagayama takes his debut win, kind of, in World Superbikes. Race 2, 2005. Second, Regis Lacone. Third, Troy Corsa. Look uh, at them weaving for the line. Oh, Tosland's not going to do it. Tosland. I think it might have been about a tyre's width too late. And that's 18 out of 18. Sam Davis, bless her heart, she's not in tears this time. She looks... We had a problem there, hadn't we? Yes, Pet, you've been around racing long enough to know there was some...